All right, so confidence intervals. This time we're determining sample size for a given margin of error. First of all, margin of error. If this is our sample mean, the margin of error is the distance from the sample mean to the end point of our confidence interval. It's not from one end to another, it's just from the middle to the end. And it's given by the portion of our formula, 1.96 if it's a 95% confidence interval, times the uh, population standard deviation over the square root of the sample size. That's the thing that you add and subtract from your sample mean to give you your confidence interval. Okay, so that's gonna give us our margin of error. Now, the sample size is going to change that margin of error. Uh, imagine if you had a population of 600 and you took a sample size of 600. The margin of error would be zero because you would have all of the information from the population. If you choose only a couple of people from the population, then the margin of error, the standard deviation is gonna be large and the margin of error is gonna be large. So the larger your sample size, the lower the margin of error. So in the real world, when a statistician is deciding how many people they're gonna sample or how many things they're going to sample, they do a calculation here where they say, okay, I want my margin of error to be this big, so I better select this many things in my sample. So this is a very real world application of confidence intervals. Just to make life easy, I'm just gonna call margin of error capital ME. And now I'm going to take this formula and rearrange it to make N the subject. All right, relatively straightforward. You don't need to see me rearrange a formula. All right, now I can do a question where I'm trying to determine the sample size required for a given margin of error. So here's our question. You're trying to estimate the average IQ of year 12 students. What size sample is required to ensure a margin of error of 1.5 points or less at the 95% confidence interval uh, level, assuming the IQ has a standard deviation of 15? All we're doing here is subbing in all of the stuff that we know. Now, that 95% confidence level corresponds with that 1.96. If you were doing 90%, 99%, that number needs to change. But we're doing 95%. Standard deviation of 15 over, and we want a margin of error of 1.5 points or less. And then we square that, and it's as simple as that, we figure out what that number is. And the answer here is 384.16. Now you need to be super careful here. This is one of those instances where you must round up, because if you round down here and only sample 384 students, only 384 students, then your uh, margin of error is going to be larger than you want it to be. So you've always got to round up if you want a margin of error of 1.5 points or less. If you round down, your margin of error is going to be like 1.52 or 1.53. So this students sometimes get really excited and always round up when they're doing like uh, statistics and things like that. But this is one of those times. Therefore, 385 sample size. All right, uh, that, confidence intervals determining sample size for a given margin of error.